Hello, my bacon lovers, and welcome to another edition of Destination Bacon. And on today's episode, we are going to make a very seemingly popular bacon cracker, I don't even know what to call it, appetizer. So thanks to all of my friends and family that suggested it to me and sent it to me. Thank you, Brenda and Jody and Amber and Allison. And I know there's so many more people that sent it to me, so I'm sorry if I've skipped you, but stay tuned for this week's delicious episode. <laughs> This recipe could not be easier. All you need is bacon. I am using bacon from Nahunta Pork Center. We did a video there um, in, uh, I think it's been at least two years, but they're outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. And I had picked up their hickory smoked bacon. All you need are club crackers or your favorite kind of cracker brown sugar, if you want to add a little bit of heat, some uh, red pepper flakes, and then your favorite barbecue rub. So this is from Biggins Barbecue, which is a very popular restaurant in Jasper, Georgia. I actually have not tried this before, so I am excited to try it because we really love their barbecue. All right, let's get going. Let's set our oven to 350. Let's open some crackers. I am, oh, look how cute. Little baby packets. This is perfect because I don't want to make a million of these. So this will be great. You are just going to put these on your cookie sheet. Okay. All right. Then you're gonna place your bacon right over the cracker. I'm not kidding guys, this is, this is so easy and fast. Our oven is preheating to 350. And then the cricket. Two more. Next, a little brown sugar. You can just literally sprinkle it on here. As little or as much as you want. Next, sprinkle your barbecue rub. This barbecue rub smells so so good. I feel like I'm walking into the restaurant. And then for a little bit of heat, this is optional, some red pepper flakes. Why not? I'm not going to get crazy with it. Okay. Then you're just going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes or until your bacon is done. Oh, and be sure you do not use thick cut bacon because that will just take way too long to cook and it'll just burn the cracker, burn the, the brown sugar on there. It will not work out. So just use regular thin cut bacon. I ended up taking them out a few minutes before. Uh, 25 minutes was up. Like if you like your bacon really crunchy, you could leave it in for the full 25 minutes, but I took mine out about 23 minutes. And it uh, looks good to me and they smell really good. Let's get to tasting. And here is the finished product. Alrighty. And again, guys, this was so simple. So we used the uh, club crackers, some brown sugar, little red pepper flakes, the Biggins barbecue rub, and the Nahunta pork center bacon. If you have not seen that video, I will link the video to the Nahunta pork center below and you can watch that video. We got an entire tour of the place. It was awesome. Okay. 
Let me try a cracker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so the brown sugar, of course, adds a delicious sweetness. Mm. I probably could have put more red pepper flakes on there. I am not getting any heat on the bite that I took. But if you added more red pepper flakes, you know what? You could even do a dash of cayenne pepper. That would be amazing. Let me try it again. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Smokiness of the bacon. Sweetness of the brown sugar. Mmm. And the barbecue rub. That even adds a little more sweetness to it and kind of that extra smoky flavor. Those would be a hit at any, you know, Super Bowl party, barbecue, or just a late night snack because it's so fast and easy to make. All right, you guys, if you try this, let me know how it turns out for you. Comment below. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you next time on Destination Bacon. There's the heat. It's the after heat. Bye.